Well, the original hypothesis was that these compounds would be schizotoxins, that they would be abnormally formed in uh, the brain tissue of uh, patients with, with diagnoses of schizophrenia in particular. The data that was coming out from a number of different laboratories, however, was, was showing that these compounds were not just in patients diagnosed with uh, mental disorders. They were also present in the normal controls. That implicates these compounds as being naturally produced uh, compounds that have some involvement in physiological process regulation. And this is what the body does, and it manufactures these things for a purpose and particularly when it goes to the effort of methylating these compounds or uh, changing them into other materials from starting materials like tryptophan, which is what these are derived from, and that these compounds have some significance. In psychiatry, of course, it was of great interest because when you take these compounds and administer them to individuals, the experience is one of an altered state of perception. And that it, dramatically affects you know, one's ability to maintain contact with their normal reality and creates basically a, a separate reality you know, for these individuals. In some cases, the, these uh, effects were correlated with some of the experiences reported by psychiatric patients and thus the connection was made along with uh, a hypothesis that had been put forward earlier called the transmethylation hypothesis. Yeah, yeah, the transmethylation hypothesis was formulated uh, back in, in 1952 in citing a, a, a talk that had been given by Dr. Harley Mason, Dr. Uh, Humphrey Osmond, and Dr. Uh, John Smithies reported on the possible formation of methylated products of naturally occurring neurotransmitters that we could possibly form compounds in the body that were schizotoxins related to mescaline. Well, dopamine, which is a, uh, a very prominent and abundant uh, neurotransmitter in the brain, has a very similar structure to mescaline. Mescaline has three methoxy groups and an, a ethylamine side chain on an aromatic ring. The uh, dopamine molecule has two hydroxyl groups on an aromatic ring and an ethylamine side chain. The idea was that, again, people would abnormally methylate uh, dopamine and create a product that was a schizotoxin, having some of the properties of mescaline, some of its psychedelic uh, producing uh, capabilities, and that that would explain uh, the hallucinatory phenomena seen in these psychiatric patients. So this became known as the transmethylation hypothesis. Uh, the, this compound was eventually detected, but its relationship to schizophrenia could not be uh, made. There was no good correlation, and the finding of the molecule was inconsistent. And subsequently, others offered hypotheses that the uh, tryptamine pathway may also lead to methylated products that uh, NN dimethylation of tryptamine or NN dimethylation and O methylation of serotonin could also produce hallucinogens that could be responsible. Those studies did consistently lead to the identification of these compounds in uh, the body fluids of humans. And uh, that part of the transmethylation hypothesis uh, flowed from uh, the original uh, hypothesis of uh, Dr. Harley Mason and Dr. Smithies and Osmond. 